Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Friday, September 15th, and it's currently 2.44 p.m. And I have September here for you all. And I am going to be doing my first ever Reborn tag. I'm so excited. I've been doing YouTube since 2017. I've been in the hobby since 2013, but I've never participated in a Reborn tag before. So this is going to be very, very exciting. Unfortunately, I am not going to be changing her, but the video is not going to be that long. So I think it's okay that I don't change her also. I brought back out my ring light because the last couple of videos I've been posting have been horrible. So I got my ring light out for this video and my ring light is going to be out for the rest of the videos that I decide to make. And I think this would be a lot better than what I was doing before. So anyways, so yeah, tomorrow's actually my birthday guys. And um, I usually don't do anything for my birthday, but anyways let's go ahead and do this tag this tag is by charmed reborns on youtube so you guys go ahead and check out her channel go ahead and subscribe to her and then you guys can check out her tag as well or you guys can check out her video to her tag the tag is who's your most spoiled reborn so that's why I brought September out for this video because September is my most spoiled reborn. And I would have to say that it does change from time to time uh, depending on like if I get a new baby because obviously the new baby just ends up being your most spoiled one until you get another one. But since I haven't bought a baby in a while, it just kind of goes back to September now. So Solana was my last baby that I had got and she was pretty spoiled but since she came with a whole bunch of stuff I just really don't hardly buy her anything except for when I just went and got her some stuff right now so I will definitely have to say it's September and my reasoning on why I think she's the most spoiled is because one she's a full body silicone two I don't have many girls I have her Solana Eilina and then I have another girl her name is Willow and she's been in storage for the past almost three years now. So you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about. So technically, I have four girls, but really only three girls. So I feel like that's another reason why she's my most spoiled one. And all my girls are all different sizes. So she's zero to three month size. Eilina is three to six month size. And Solana is in size 2T. So I feel like she's very very special to me and she's also very very spoiled for those reasonings because again she's a full body silicone and she's one of my only little girls so i will say september is my most spoiled baby now if we want to take out the silicone factor i'll have to go with huh i would say the boys but it's just kind of hard for me to say the boys are really spoiled because they are around the same size and so they can fit the same clothes. And sometimes I'll get like an outfit and I'll have a boy in mind, but at the end, they both will end up sharing the outfit. Uh, I guess if you wanted to say Saint and Milano are my runner-ups for Spoiled Reborn, you could. But I really feel like it is September. Like when I went shopping, I literally had so much stuff for her that I had to put some stuff back because I wouldn't be able to take all of it with. So I feel like she is my most spoiled baby so far. When it comes to everything, she's my most spoiled baby. But when it comes to like little baby shoes, then I, I'll have to say Solana because she's the only baby that can fit baby shoes. So I don't know if that even really counts. But yes, I'll say September here is my most spoiled reborn and this is the Merle kit and she is sculpted by Lillian Breville and she's poured by Claire Taylor so if any of you guys were wondering what sculpt she is and again well you guys can see but she's full body silicone little girl 
and that's her she wears zero to three month size clothing the best but i do put some newborn clothing on her but zero to three is my go-to for her another question that's a part of the tag is what did i think of the blank before i got it so this is actually pretty funny when i first saw her i was like that baby is gorgeous and i was like i could not figure out the sculpt because I'm getting better, but I was really bad at silicone scopes. I did not know the names. I did not know the sculptor. Like, that's like a whole different ballpark versus the vinyl. You guys can show me a leg on the vinyl. I'm like, oh, that's that baby. That's that kit. That's by that sculptor. But with silicone, I'm like clueless. Or I was clueless. I'm getting, like I said, I'm getting a little bit better now. So, I actually, when I first saw her, I did not know what scope she was. And then when I saw her again, I found out what scope she was. And... I searched her up on YouTube and the funny thing about it is when her sculpt first came out I already watched that video of it on YouTube and that is so funny so since I can't really remember me seeing her blank sculpt before I got her I'm just gonna go based off of before like right before I got her instead of when her first when her scope first came out so I thought her blank was absolutely gorgeous I did see pictures of her blank scope and I did see a video of her blank scope and I was like this scope is so pretty like I love it I absolutely love it so that was my initial thought it was I love it I absolutely love this scope so pretty i hope i can add this baby into my collection because i was looking at videos of this scope without me even buying her yet so i was really really excited about her scope and i was like this scope is so gorgeous i just could not stop thinking that or saying that and there's not a lot of videos or pictures of her scope so it was really, really hard for me to even, I don't know, to even like see her really. So I basically had to keep rewatching the same video over and over again. So what I can remember about her blank is that I, I just absolutely loved it. And then the last part of the tag is what drew me to this sculpt. And I'll have to say it was her size for me. I love a long baby. She's not too chunky but I do love me some chubsters but I feel like her size is what drew me to her and her sculpt and I love the fact that she was asleep because I do like the awake babies but I just always love the asleep babies even more than the awake babies so I loved her size I loved how long she was I love that she had a little bit of a belly she wasn't too petite and then I love that she had closed eyes. And then the last thing that really drew me to the sculpt was her mouth. Because her mouth is like slightly open. And it reminds me of like the little babies when they like go to sleep. And their mouth is like open like this. And I just thought that was just so realistic. And I was like she got it spot on. Her sculptor got it spot on. Because when babies fall asleep. They do not care how they look and their mouths are like just hanging open just like this. You guys can't really see it from her angle and from the angle you guys are at because sometimes you know how the angle looks. It looks like the baby has a different expression on their face but let me see. Like look how cute she is. But yeah I'll say again she is my most spoiled reborn. I think so. Anytime I see something like super cute and girly, I'm like, oh, I have to get that for Solana. I mean, <laughs> not for Solana. I'm like, I have to get that for September. Like, September looks so cute in this. And I feel like I do that a lot for her, which again, why I feel like she's my most spoiled reborn. Because like, I'll see something so cute either at the store or I'll even just see it on like someone else's baby. I'm like, wow, that outfit is so cute. It'll look so cute on September. I'm like, that outfit is so cute. It'll look so cute on September. And I'm just always constantly trying to find clothes for her and buy clothes for her and buy things for her. And she doesn't need anything else at all. 
so yeah I think I wanna I just found this headband while I was grabbing the what is it called the tripod I don't put a lot of headbands on her look how cute I don't do a lot of passies either because she has like a sculpted tongue so even with the passies being cut it's still kind of hard to put them in her mouth but I like how her mouth is anyway so well that one went right in and just took what I said and threw it out the window <laughs> she has a lot of glitter on her she came to me with a lot of glitter a year ago guys I've had her for a year <sighs> Oh my gosh, but yeah, she came to me with a lot of glitter on her and I have not been able to get it off. So I just, I just leave it. I just leave it. But yes, guys, I got her a year ago. Oh my gosh. I've had her for a whole year. That's so crazy to think about because this time has went by so fast and it feels like I just got her. She literally was a dream come true. And I'm so happy to have her. The time is going by so fast. I got her at the end of August in 2022. And she was my birthday baby. Uh, okay. She's so cute. Sleeping so peacefully. So yeah, that was me answering my first ever tag by charmed reborns here on youtube again guys go ahead and check out her channel check out her tag video check out the rest of her other videos with her cute babies if you guys want to go ahead and answer this tag go ahead and tag charmed because again this is her tag and she'll be sure to watch it and i think this was a really really nice tag because everyone knows we spoil these reborns and silicones and babies in general all the time like they're all so spoiled but this tag really had made me think like dang who's my most spoiled baby so i kept going back and forth between either her or saint but i just feel like i i couldn't do saint or milano because they're the same size and so when i think of like getting something for him i'm like well yeah because milano could wear it. or if i think about getting something for milano i'm like yeah because saint could wear it it's never just let me get something just for Milano or let me get something just for Saint. But since she's like my only girl and she's uh, not my only girl, but my only girl in this size, I'm like, she's the only one that can wear it. So I always feel like I'm picking up more stuff just for her. All right, guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Again, this was a awesome tag by Charmed Reborns. Again, go ahead and check her out, guys. And that is pretty much it for today's video. If you guys want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, you guys can do so. My Instagram is Maya underscore Reborns. And if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Comment up with anything you guys want in the comments, including for the request. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.